former President Donald Trump did take the witness stand in the defamation's damages trial brought by writer E. Jean Carroll today. His testimony, though, only lasted for four minutes. Trump has already been found liable in a previous sexual abuse and defamation trial. Carroll is seeking at least $10 million in damages. CBS News campaign reporter Katrina Kaufman joins us now. She is also an attorney. Katrina, thank you. It was a brief time on the witness stand today. What did the former president have to say under oath? Hi, Bob. As you said, his testimony was very brief. Um, it was highly restricted. Before he even got up there, the judge and Trump's attorney, Alina Haba, had a long debate about what could be said on the stand, and it really wasn't much that was allowed. In the end, he said that he 100% yes agreed with a deposition that had been shown earlier in the day, in which he had said that Eugene Carroll had lied about her allegations, and he said that she wasn't his type. He also said that he had never instructed anyone to hurt Carroll and that he was just defending himself against the accusations. So it was a very, very short testimony from him today. Why do you believe he took the stand? I think he wanted to get up there and defend himself. I think that he seemed a little agitated at how restricted he was. He was kind of pursing his lips and shaking his head. And even when the judge and Alina Haba were debating before the jury was in the room, I remember at one point, uh, Roberta Kaplan, who was Eugene Carroll's attorney, said she could hear him muttering behind her that he was going to get up there and say that he didn't know who that woman was, he'd never seen her before in his life. And at another point, he audibly actually started just waving his hands around. And um, I think he said, oh, I've never met this woman. I don't know who that woman is to the judge. So what's next in this uh, trial? So tomorrow morning, we're going to meet again at 930. There will be closing arguments. Then the judge will give the jury instructions and then the jury will deliberate. So it's plausible we could maybe even have a decision by the end of the day. In, in the legal community, among your sources, what's the expectation of what that decision ultimately could be? She's seeking $10 million, but is that something that's realistic based on the way these kind of cases usually play out? That's a great question. I think it's really hard to say what the damages are going to be in this. Just alone, um, when they had Ashley Humphreys, who is an expert on reputational repair, testify the other day, she was saying that just to repair E. Jean Carroll's reputation could cost between 7 and $12 million. And that's not even considering punitive damages or any other compensatory damages to Carroll. So I think a lot of it will just depend on how all of this information has been received by the jury. Katrina Kaufman reporting for CBS News. We really appreciate it.